I'm gonna start, I'm gonna finish. And let the pussy spin. Yo, before we get into the video, y'all go check out my boys at Star Grinders. They now are currently doing badge grinding for next gen. They are the best fascist badge grinding service out there. The Twitter link and Instagram link will be in the description and let's get into the video. So I know I said I was gonna drop this tomorrow, but you know, I just got impatient. I'm gonna drop a current gen video tomorrow. Just one. And then we'll start trying to double upload and back and forth between next gen, current gen. But I'm gonna drop the six seven right now. I know it's only been like an hour, but I might as well put it out before there's like variations of the build. So I might as well throw the six seven out there real quick. All right, so power forward. Like the video first. Like the video, bro. I'm not even asking no more. Just like the video. I feel like Nick Merks. Sub up if you want to. That's one thing I'm not gonna force you to do because you'll sub up if you if you really mess with me. All right, I be dropping some good builds. But let's get into a 6-7 power forward lob threat, okay? I'm pretty sure you can make this at... I made it at the center too, but I'm not going to go into that one. So power forward, choose every hand. You know we got to go with the young Froby number right here, number 8. 6-7, minimum weight. Max wingspan, whatever body shape. Like I said, the 6-7 has a different badge spread compared to the 6-8, but they have the same amount of badges just about. Now here, I'm gonna put these up. This goes up to an 81, oops, 81. This, this goes up to 32, so we have 14 finishing, all right? Now the shooting, like I said, you can't go over a 79. So here, 79s, free throw, we're gonna put up to an 85. So it's not as many shooting as the other one, but you're gonna see what we get more of. Now here, 79, like I said, it has a higher ball control. It doesn't have a 76, it has a 79. You can't go here. So here, but 96 overall, you'll get your dribble packages and most definitely be able to curry slide there. 84 speed of ball. And then we're gonna put this up, like I said. You can go up to 79 if you really want to. Do not go past 79 to an 80. But for the sake of badge upgrades for the rest of the build, we're gonna stop here at 20 playmaking badge upgrades. Now perimeter defense, these stats are the same if you watch the 6-8 version. 79s, 79, 79. Defensive rebound goes up to 92 and you can't put your offensive past a 67, okay? Now interior defense, we're putting up to a 47 just to try to get that one extra badge upgrade while still being able to max out our physicals just about, all right? So one right here, and then we have a 90 stamina. So 14, 14, 20, and 14. This is a good spread. You have a steel rating. You will get Hall of Fame Rip Protector at 96 overall. You get a lot of stuff at 96 overall. We have a standing dunk of post control, a 95 driving dunk, dribble packages eventually, and 82, 83, three ball at 98, 99 overall, bro. You're gonna be filthy. Now here, we do get post takes. We don't get the rebound and take just like the 6 a So since it's a lob threat, let's say put on finishing moves so we get contact dunks. Well, we already get contact dunks, but you know what I mean, the slash and take. Now, I say don't mess with these for this build. Like don't put these on for your teammates until you get your Mamba mentality badge, meaning you got all your, ba your badge upgrades so you can switch your takeovers whenever you want. Post take, if you want to be cheesy, bro, I have not tried any of these. It'd be dope to have one of these. I have to test it out on a bill. But choose a spot up or limitless, bro. I say spot up. But if you're ISOing, maybe limitless, bro. Because with this build, with the 79 three ball, you can shoot almost lights out if you know your jump shot, bro. Almost lights out. Now, I'm not saying you can shoot from the hash. You, you'll be able to shoot from the hash when you hit like 98, 99, bro. Because like I was doing that with 82 three-point rating on my two-way slasher f just from the hash. I'd wait to like shoot limitless, limitless until you hit like a 98, 99 overall with this build. But a sh like a foot or two behind the three-point line, bro, you'll be filthy. So spot up or limitless, it's up to you. Let's, let's say you do limitless, bro. Why not? Now, if you're a spot up, if you're purely a spot up, choose a spot up, all right? We got the 6-7 lob threat that I promised I would drop tomorrow, but I'm dropping it today. 
Test the build, I'm gonna give y'all some badges. Now the badge setup is gonna be a little different just since we got less finishing and shooting, but we got more playmaking. So here, posterizer would be a good one. Um, Ob City finisher, let's say you do gold. You can get by with bronze or silver, bro. You don't, but just for the sake of it being a lob threat, I'm putting it on gold. Fearless bronze to help you make some of those contact layups. Um, slithery, we can throw silver. Or we can do we can do gold and then heat seeker on gold. If you really want to, you can take your slithery, and put it there. This helps with your layup animations, not getting better contact dunks, like better contact dunk animations. So that's why this is you can put silver or gold on it if you really want to put anything else up. All right, but I say right here is a good spread. Shooting, you realistically only need two shooting to gold. With your look, with your 79 three point rating, with these two badges, bro, you can shoot damn near lights out if you know your jump shot. But hey, we got 14 total, so hot shot is a great badge to have on. If you're purely a spot up, definitely max out that catch and shoot. You could put bronze corner and like bronze dead eye. This would be filthy if your eyes went. Okay, now if you're just spawning up, you don't need blinders, just put that up. All right, let's do something like this. Oops corner like this bro why do gold catch and bronze corner why not split it because you'd be able to catch a shoe from limitless you're not always going to be in the corner right so that's my thought process if you're a spot up with this amount of badge upgrades but yeah the other way if you iso which is me next playmaking handles for days hall of fame you can get by with gold but i like to dribble the ball a lot so hall of fame is a must for me now, if you're dribbling the ball, definitely gold and pluggable. If not, you can do bronze or silver. Uh, bullet passer at the bare minimum, silver. But we get a ton of badge upgrades, so let's put that to gold. Let's put this to silver. Special delivery is another like decent badge now. I'm only using it for throwing lobs, basically, because this is basically like the um, the lob city passer now. And since they they nerfed it really bad, but yeah, bronze or silver. That's fine. Um, let's do something like this, bro. Honestly, let's 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 do this. I like this right here. And lastly, if you're playing the three in the park, do not play center with this building in the rec. You can play the four, just do not play the five. All right, but these are the setups. I'm gonna give you the same setup as the last video. Right here, right here. Interceptor, we don't got enough badges to spare, but you having that high steal rating already, you're gonna be straight without interceptor on. Alright, clamps. There's not a huge difference between bronze and gold. The only difference is, like I said the last video, is between all these badges in Hall of Fame. That's when there's like a big difference. So we're not gonna go all the way to gold with it just because we wanna have enough badges to put on other big man badges, so I say ankle braces gold, bro. You don't want to be tossing and turning on the court, getting flipped over, rolled over on the court. At least people with ankle breaker on. So ankle braces on goal. I think I said ankle braces the first time I said this. Ankle braces on goal. Hall of Fame if you can. Um, yeah, this is a good badge setup. This is if you're playing the three in the park or the four in the rec or just garden guards in general, bro. You should be straight. But the six, seven lob threat, filthy. I really, I'm really thinking about making this build. I might make the 6-8. I like the 6-8. But let me know what you think. Like the video. Sub up if you want to. And until tomorrow. I'm out. Niggas never tell the truth. Niggas say they keep it real. I don't never see it. Keep it real with who? Niggas never tell the truth. Niggas say they keep it real. I don't never see it. Keep it real with who? Go. Say you keep it real with who? All the shit you talking about, saying.